Hey, we are back for Friday Night Live. How's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? Um, you think of your subs, you like, your shares, your time, more than anything, we are here for you. music. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, come back, hang out. Metal Monday, WTF Wednesdays, Friday Night Live, which is now. Um, your time more than anything, I said that, right? Um, for today. Dolly Parton. I like Dolly, man. She's dope. And from what I understand, she wrote like a billion songs, so I have a lot of Dolly coming. If I, you know what I'm saying? If I keep listening to the music, because um, I do enjoy her shit. Um, Dolly Parton, Jolene. I don't know if this is good. It's alive. But um, let's see what happens. I don't know what year this is. Uh, I don't know. Let's go. <laughs> I want to do a song for you now that a lot of people have been asking for ever since I started doing the Dolly Show. They asked me why I didn't sing the song about Jolene. Now, this is a true story for those of you that don't know. I wrote this song about 20 years ago about this woman down in Nashville that worked at the bank. She was trying to take care of my husband while I was out on the road. <laughs> well, that didn't go over too big with me. I fought that red-headed woman like a wildcat. She jerked my wig off and almost beat me to death with it. <laughs> But I kept my husband. I got that sucker home and I beat the tar out of him. We got a whole bunch of redheaded women down here. We're gonna talk. As a matter of fact, Jolene looked a that. whole lot like you, you redheaded hussy. <laughs> oh, so here we go with the pitiful story of Jolie. This song has so much going on that in 2019 would be crazy. Um, first off, bat, this lady must have been born with the gift of creating melodies. Like, I Will Always Love You, right? The Island Stream song. I'm sure I've heard a couple other songs from her. And she knows how to find a melody that's, you know, that's nice. Like, it's super cool to the ears. I don't have too many words to describe shit. So, um, but this song, like... Is that body shaming, first of all, because she's like, she don't have what that lady has looks-wise. 
respect. How would this song play in 2019? If you're still listening to this and you're upset about what's going on in the world, you can't do both. You can't enjoy this song and be a 2019 fake protester for all the shit that's going on. Because this song is basically talking about the shit. You got violence. Her man cheated on her. So she went to the lady's job and whooped her ass. Went home and beat her spouse. That's spousal abuse. That's, a, that's two violent acts. He's cheating on her. There's a lot going on in the song that 2009. I know I'm nitpicking, but I'm just trying to compare shit. Like, this is what we're here for. I did the same thing with, uh, I forgot what song I just did recently, and I was comparing it to nowadays, how it will, you know, would it fly in 2019. The insecurity Dolly Parton is sending to the people, the ladies listening to this, there's probably women in the world who went and did this because of this song, because they felt insecure because Dolly Parton told them it was okay to feel insecure and run across the street instead of leaving the man caring about yourself more, not putting your hands on nobody. But I can't, I don't know how to react. I don't know, maybe I, I don't know how you're gonna react in that situation. That's another thing, it's emotions and shit. So you're gonna react. That's why the, that's why people are crazy, it's emotion. She let the other woman decide how she's gonna live her life. That's crazy. And she doesn't, it's weird that she wrote this song because she doesn't seem like the type of woman who would give that vibe off. Now it sounds like a pandering song. Because she's like, oh, there's got to be women like that. Let me make a song about them. But she's not encouraging the women. She's basically like, yo, do me a favor. You look too good. I know my man's going to go after you. I'm not as sexy as you are. Please, please, please don't take my man. Or I'm going to go beat the shit out of you and then beat the shit out of him. Like, it's a crazy story going on here. Now, is that... And then she's saying that's the man for her. Like, there's a billion men in the world. Is that her insecurity or is she, is, is she obsessed like a stalker? Because either way, she's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because if the man don't want to be with her and she's stalking him, beating up anybody she he's with to go be with him, then that's fucked up too. But then there's the insecurity side. Is she saying he's the only one for her because she's insecure because it is Jolene, bitch? I don't know. But Dolly Parton, this message is not right. This don't make sense. Like, it doesn't seem right from what I know of Dolly Parton. I sound like a fan or some shit. This, this is the type of ana analysis a fan would make. Like, I'm upset. I'm not upset. I'm just saying, I'm just pointing out what I'm hearing in the song. And she falsely accused the lady in the crowd of being the Jolene type of woman. And she felt like shit. Now, that would have been all over the news. Imagine if Dolly Parton would have did that in 2019 and said, Hey, you, you look like the red-headed hussy that fucking fucked my man. She would have been all over the news for false accusations and all kinds of craziness. She would have been canceled, cancel culture and all that shit. This, would this song play in 2019? If it does, you must not care about, or you just don't follow the trends, rather, of what's going on now, which is cool, because I don't, 2019, the world's bananas. Um, I know I'm rambling. So I like Dolly Parton. What the fuck you want me to tell you? Um, I like her voice. I like her style. Uh, thank you for your subs, your likes, your shares, your time, more than anything. I appreciate the suggestions. Send me more Dolly Parton, of course. Uh, why not? Another sentence I never thought I'd say. Send me more goddamn Dolly Parton. What the hell has my life become? Um, I'm out of here. Double R.